Okay, hi. So in this video, what we are going to learn is to how to factor difference of two squares. So there are certain expressions which we call as difference of two squares. So that is what we are going to find out later. And then there is also a shortcut or shorter way on how to identify the factors of this kind of expression. So we will also deal with that one later on. Okay, so the first thing we need to know is how does a difference of two squares look like? And here is the general form of difference of two squares. So we have a squared minus b squared. So this general form wants to tell us that difference of two squares must be a binomial. When we say binomial, there must be two terms only. Okay, and then those two terms must be both perfect squares so a squared and b squared are both perfect square why because it can be expressed as a power of two now i'll give i will give you another examples of perfect squares four is a perfect square because it can be written as two raised to the power of two 16 is a perfect square because it can be written as four raised to the power of two z raised to 4 is a perfect square because it can be written as z raised to 4, sorry, c raised to 2, rather, c raised to 2, raised to a power of 2. So still, the power is 2. So all of these are perfect squares. Now that's the second criteria. And uh, for the last criteria, the third one, the operation in between your terms must be subtraction. Now, this subtraction, this operation has something to do with the factors. So later, you'll find out. Now, after you have proven that the given expression is a difference of two squares, then you may now use the shortcut. So the factor of this kind of expression or binomial is always in this form. The product of binomial wherein the binomial is a sum and difference of the square roots. So the square roots of the first term and the last term. The square root of a squared is a and that will serve as your first term of the binomial and the square root of b squared is b and that will now serve as your second term in your binomial factor. Now why does this kind of shortcut works? Now if you will notice if we will try to check these factors we will end up with a squared and b squared. Why? Because the first term is a times a and then the last term is b times b which is also b squared and since it is positive b we have here positive b and a negative b here so therefore the product will be negative that is why the operation is subtraction now what happens to the inner and the outer now look at the inner and the outer Okay, so here is our inner. Our inner is b times a, or simply a b, positive a b. And our outer is a times negative b. And a times negative b is negative a b. Now, if you will notice, these two are additive inverses. That when we add positive a b by negative a b, the answer will be zero. So this will just be disregarded. So, in short, we are just considering the last, the first terms and the last terms, which is simply the square of the first term and the last term of the binomial factor. Okay, so I hope we're clear on that. The reason why this one works. Now, let's try to use this idea in some examples. Okay, so let's apply what we have talked about a while ago using these examples. So we have 9x squared minus 16y squared. So first thing we need to know is whether this one is a DTS. So the operation is subtraction, so that is already followed. 
and there are two terms and so therefore it is a binomial now for the last criterion so the terms must be perfect squares so let's prove that one by expressing each term in a power of 2 so 9x squared it can be expressed as the square root of 9 is 3 the square root of x squared is x so therefore it can be expressed as 3x raised to a power of 2 minus 16y squared let's find out the square roots if there are so the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of y squared is y so therefore it can be expressed as square of 4y now we have shown that or it is clearly shown here that these terms are perfect squares so we can now use our shortcut in finding the factors of a DTS now again the expected factor must look like this the product of two binomials wherein one is addition or sum and one is a difference or subtraction and for the terms of your factor the first term must come from the square root of your first term in your binomial and that is 3x so we will be using 3x in both binomial factors and then for the second term it must be the square root which is 4y the square root of the second term of your given binomial and that is 4y so 3x plus 4y and then 3x minus 4y now if you want to check yes you may still and to double check this one will be already cancelled out because this will just be positive 12xy 12xy and then the other one is negative 12xy so at the end we will still be having the first times the first using the foil method which is 9x squared and then the last times the last which is negative 16y squared and we will be having 9x squared minus 16y squared okay so that's for our first example let's have another one okay so for our second example we have 81 z raised to 4 minus 64 x squared again check whether this one is a dts so there are two terms so it is a binomial correct and then the operation is subtraction so it all it already followed our second criteria and uh, for the third criterion um the terms must be perfect squares so let's express it as a power of two to prove that these are perfect squares so the square root of 81 is 9 and for the square root of 0 raised to 4 I, I actually gave this as an example a while ago in perfect squares so uh, the perfect uh, the square root of 0 raised to 4 is c squared so it can be written as quantity 9c squared raised to a power of 2 rather okay and then minus for 64x squared so get the square root of 64 that is 8 and then square root of x squared that is simply x and then quantity of 8x raised to a power of 2 and if you want to check then follow the law of exponent 9 squared is or 9 raised to a power of 2 is 81 check and then z squared raised to a power of 2 that will be or that will give us c raised to 4 then for this one 8 raised to a power of 2 that is 64 and then x raised to a power of 2 that is x squared so our expression or our form is correct okay now let's use this information in order to get the factors so again since this one is now proven to be a DTS so therefore the binomial factors must be the sum 
So it must be the sum and difference of the square roots. So the square roots are 9c squared for the first term and then 8x for the second term. So again, we'll have 9c squared plus 8x times 9c squared minus 8x as the factored form of this given binomial. So therefore, this will now be our final answer. Okay, so I hope you learned something through this short discussion about factoring difference of two squares. So in the next video, um, we'll be discussing how to factor general trinomials.